It's on WML And how much did you raise? 38,314, a new one day record. Uh, 11, 9, 14, From Jeopardy, James Holzhauer to Roger Craig to Ken Jennings, long running champions on that classic game show have always been a big hit with the viewers. And right now, there is a man from Wisconsin who's working on a long Jeopardy winning streak. Yeah, CBS 58's Brian McRae talked to him today. Check it out. Yeah, good evening, Natalie and Jessup. Chen has created a lot of buzz in the Jeopardy world. His three day winning streak showing fans he's smart, calculated, and willing to take the risk. On any given day, you can catch Ben Chen, a professor of philosophy, inside the classroom of St. Norbert College a small Catholic liberal arts college in De Pere, Wisconsin. Friday, our third paper will be due. But over the past couple of weeks... Ben, what is Tiananmen Square? You add a thousand. You can watch Chan win big on CBS 58. Chan, a philosopher at heart, has won Jeopardy three times in the span of a week, so far winning more than $60,000. Surprise and a bit, I think a bit of relief. It turns out I'm I'm really good at this. Chan says he's always had the trivia bug, but it was his mortality that made him go after the national stage. You know, just thinking about what I really wanted, and this was one of the things I really wanted. But being a champion doesn't come easy. You gotta hit the books. So I made a lot of flashcards and worked on my weaknesses and tried to, you know. Also strengthen my strengths. It's not about the money or fame for Chan. He says he does it for the love of the game. That's the main motivation for a lot of us is like the game is so fun. We want to just keep playing. Now Chan was supposed to defend his reigning title this past Monday, but due to COVID, he was unable to appear on the show. Jeopardy has taped Chan's fourth appearance that will air May 15th. Now the question is, will Chan win? You just have to watch CBS 58 to find out. For now, in the studio, Brian McRae, CBS 58 News. <laughs> People that do well.